President Trump has just started a battle over birthright. Yeah, he says babies born in the U.S. to non-citizens should not get automatic citizenship. And he says he's getting ready to take action. CBS 2's Cara Fitzgerald is live with a possible showdown over the 14th Amendment. Cara. Peter, big reactions to the president's comments this morning across the country and right here in L.A. All of our rights are important, but that is essential. It just seems like a huge, huge conflict with what our country stands for. A teacher in L.A. expressed deep concern over the president's newest immigration proposal, while South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham tweeted out support, writing, finally, a president willing to take on this absurd policy of birthright citizenship. The latest politically charged debate over immigration is heating up less than one week before the midterm elections. President Donald Trump told the political news site Axios he wants to challenge a 150-year-old constitutional standard that anyone born in America becomes an American citizen. The president said he plans to sign an executive order to, quote, remove the right to citizenship for babies of non-citizens and unauthorized immigrants born on U.S. soil. A person comes in, has a baby, and the baby is essentially a citizen of the United States for 85 years with all of those benefits. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. According to PolitiFact, 33 countries offer birthright citizenship. Legal arguments were immediately poised on both sides, citing differing interpretations of the 14th Amendment, which was passed after the Civil War, and opposing ideas about whether changing the standard would require an act of Congress. As long as the baby born in America, it should be an American citizen. This woman moved to the U.S. from Belize during the 1960s. Back then, she says it took her six months to get citizenship. Now, she says, she's been trying to help her daughter get hers for 12 years. She says it's clear to her views about immigration have shifted and wonders what the future holds. And Peter, Suzanne, the president did not offer any timetable on when he might sign that order. It is expected to be challenged in the courts.